Yo, what up everybody and armies? Welcome back. This is Into Euphoria and oh my god. Is it time or is it time? I'm going to tell you something real funny, man. This is how the universe works. Y'all, people that's been following my channel for a while know that I took a fat ass break from doing BTS content. It's just how, whatever, my life just, just whatever. I just kind of got off to doing other things. As I always mention, I'm a creative person, so my mind doesn't stop. I'm always thinking this, I'm always thinking that. I always want to do this and I always want to do that. Anyway, took a long time off from doing BTS content. I literally just got right back in the game. And what happens? We get an announcement. Our one and only lovely genius, Sugar. It's a, I'm sorry, I got to do that right. Sugar. <laughs> I can't help it. Just announced that he's releasing a solo album. For those that don't know, that is literally how the universe works. That's just its way of telling me, hey man, welcome back. Let's get back to work. We got a lot of work to do. So that's just crazy. I took a long break and then I get back in the game and all of a sudden we get an announcement that Sugar, who is my bias, always been my bias, um, got a solo on the way, so we got some work to do, man. So let's talk about this D-Day album from Sugar. All right. First of all, man, um, Sugar has just genuinely always been my bias, even when I first discovered BTS, um, which was a little after Map of the Soul Seven. Um, I naturally, very naturally, as naturally as humanly possible just gravitated more and more to sugar i'm even thinking about just making a video of how uh sugar just over time just naturally became my bias you know it's like man it's just this guy's style i know myself pretty well at this point so i'm just like man it's just this guy's style i'm digging it I, for some reason this one just sticks out to me more than the rest um even when i was backtracking back in the days when he had like this dark darker energy and other members was literally like afraid of him i'm like man y'all tripping bro sugar is the shit <laughs> okay I don't, I don't know what everybody else be on but i'm like sugar's my guy and anyway i'm gonna make a video about that but let's talk about this album i don't want to hold y'all up anymore man um first let me let me watch the trailer i'm gonna do a live reaction to the trailer i, I haven't even seen the trailer to be honest with you Let's watch it. I'm literally gonna watch it right now. Oh my god. There go that sound. Yeah, can I get some subtitles? <laughs> Oh my god, I'm literally getting goosebumps, y'all. Oh my god, yo. Whoa. And I recognize that song too. I think that's from one of his uh his solos. So far away. Yup, that's it. Oh my god, I need to I need to look that song back up. I forgot. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm dead ass getting goosebumps, y'all. Dead ass, I forgot how much I love this song. Oh my God. Thank you for that reminder. Thank you for that reminder. I, I seriously got goosebumps. I've always loved this song. I gotta, I gotta put that back in my rotation. Um, let me see the press release, man. All right, let's read this press release together. Hello, this is big hit music. BTS member Suga is releasing his first official solo album D-Day. Just soak that in for a second. First official solo album D-Day. D-Day marks the concluding chapter of a trilogy by Sugar's uh, another moniker, August D, uh, succeeding the previous Miss Safe August D and D2. I actually need to listen to D2. I'm gonna do a reaction to that. I haven't heard it yet. I know, shame on me, man. Listen, I got a life too, y'all. I got a life too. The album delves into the personal journey of Suga as a Gus D, oh my God. Offering an intimate portrayal of his life as an artist. This is gonna be crazy, yo. 
We asked for fans, love, and support for the last chapter of this trilogy. Started with the pre release track set to drop on April 7th. Oh shit, that's soon. Sugar will be engaging with fans through a variety of content, including a documentary and a world tour. Sugar embarks on his first official solo activities. We kindly request your support. Pre order begins Monday. The third release day is Friday, April 21st, 2023. Wow. So, all right, let's unpack this, y'all. Let's unpack this. We, 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 we got some stuff to talk about. Let's, un let's unpack this. I'm going to do my personal analysis, you know what I'm saying, from just my experience with <clears throat> being an artist, a real artist, too. I don't just use that word loosely. I'm genuinely an artist who love to create things. That's why you see a number of things on my channel because I love to create things. Um, I think this one, my first point that I want to make is I think this one might be a little bit more commercial than his previous solos because his previous solos um, was a bit like under the radar. It was very kind of independent you know, it was like him just kind of doing his thing off on the side. But now, um, this is more notorious, more anticipated, more expected. Sugar, his name, you know, have is, is more notorious. BTS is more notorious. Um, this just has more energy in it, more focus in it. They did the whole announcement that they're going to you know, start doing some solo things. So now this has more focus, more eyes, more attention, more energy. So because of that, um, and the fact that it's 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 getting uh, support of some sort or another from the main label, which is Big Hit slash Hive. Um, and of course, we all know the big labels, they love their commercial tracks. So, you know, the big hit records, they absolutely love that. Um, so, although, um, ironically, I give them a lot of credit because they really allow BTS or even the members individually, as a group or individuals, um, the opportunity, they really give them a lot of creative freedom. And when I say, trust me. That is so unheard of from big corporations because big corporations, they like things very straight line, very predictable, very, we're going to drop the hit record. It's going to go big. We're going to make a whole bunch of money and keep the lights on. That's usually how they like to roll. But again, huge credit the Hive and Big Hit because they give BTS members as a group and individuals a lot of creative free creative freedom we saw that uh with j-hope uh album and i finally got around to listening to rm album and it was very non-commercial very unique although uh flower i think that's the name of the song um it's like one of my favorite songs in the in in, in the entire world is it flower let me double check Wildflower, yes. Oh my God, real goosebumps once again. Wildflower is insane. Insane, insane. So, I, and I even want to do a video on that song, on that song alone. So anyway, um, you know, they, they tend to give them a lot of creative freedom, especially with Hope. Like they literally gave him this space and opportunity to completely uh, alter his public perception, his public image, and even portray something a little bit more dark um, out of respect for him to say, hey, this is who I really am. So my God, man, you you, you got to respect this, man. I hope other record companies are, are taking notes, man, because man the whole energy around bts and what they do and how they do things is just mind-blowing it's amazing and inspiring in so many different ways so they do give them uh some some creative freedom so i think there's going to be like probably a good two commercial tracks on here they're definitely going to do at least two commercial tracks because sugar tend to do commercial tracks too we saw that with seesaw we saw that Stay Alive had a bit of a commercial feel to it, but of course, it's the anthem for 
uh, the Chaco um, animated series. So Sugar Sugar got the, the the commercial element in them as as well. But again, man, especially uh, J-Hope, they they gave him a lot of creative freedom, and you just can't do nothing but respect uh, respect and love that. So you know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, it's I honestly think it's kind of hard to tell how he's going to come with this because man creative master remember sugar is a creative mastermind and you literally just never know what what's going to come out like it's literally just something in their nature don't ask me how i know this i just know this it's just something in their nature that has to push boundaries, that have to push envelopes, that just have to stretch their own mind, their own creativity, their own abilities. Um, you know, for them to even test themselves and see, okay, let's see how far can we can we really push this. So um, it's it's kind of hard to tell where he's gonna come with this. Um, you know, judging from that trailer, you know, that I just saw with them playing so far away. <sighs> We're definitely going to get the signature sugar sound because you can tell it just cuts you. It just penetrates. It just it just gets in you, man. It, this is why I love sugar. Like, it's that deep dark i call it the signature sugar sound that you will hear me talk about on every freaking sugar video even bts video it penetrates you man you just feel that it just gets you right uh, it's all up in here man it just gets you it just gets you so i think especially since this is going to be uh the conclusion of his uh august d and d2 and d day this is the end of a trilogy He's definitely, he's definitely gonna go deep. There we go. That that I know for a fact. He's definitely gonna go deep, and it'll be interesting to see how he ends it. But he's definitely gonna dive a bit with this album. No question. That I have no question about. He's gonna get deep on this album. And one thing for absolute sure, this is gonna be a monster. Okay, this ain't just gonna be no little whatever, whatever. This album is going to be a beast, no question. Like I said, his sound is revised to where he wanted. Himself is kind of revised to where he wanted. He's evolved so much. I'm pretty sure at this point, he can do anything he wants to actually create in the studio. Like he knows how to do it at this point. He has the resources to do it. He has the team that can uh, help him do it or whatever. So. This album is no doubt going to be a monster. And I'm pretty sure... One thing I always loved about Sugar is... He's very good at features, man. He's very good at features. Like, whether... Collaborations. Let me just put it that way. Anytime Sugar collaborates with anybody, it literally turns out a freaking masterpiece. Um, Stay Alive with Jungkook. Obviously, his own band member. Masterpiece, freaking Seesaw collaboration with uh, Adora, long time collaborator, uh, and I believe producer and maybe even writer with BTS as well. Literal masterpiece, and that was again at a time when they was just, you know, he just kind of did that on his own time, and it just surprised the shit out of everybody else. Like, wow, I didn't know you can do that, bro. So, masterpiece, Halsey. There's on Halsey's, on one of her albums, she, Goosebumps, once again, serious Goosebumps, I don't know if y'all can see that, man, I'm getting literal Goosebumps talking about this. There's something on one of Halsey's album called Sugar's Interlude. If you never heard Sugar's Interlude and you are a fan of Sugar and you know Sugar is a genius, go listen to that and you can come back and thank me later. Matter of fact, you don't... You don't even have to thank me if you don't want to. Just keep it in here. That's more powerful. So, Sugar is definitely amazing when it comes to collaborations. I think there's going to be at least two big collaborations. 
Um, mostly because Sugar is somehow recognized at this point and even uh, accepted very commercially in the music industry. Like, that's that guy, yo. Don't kid yourself. Don't kid yourself. That's that guy. When it came to redoing the Samsung Above the Horizon anthem, who did it? Sugar. Freaking. You know, I've even seen like a picture with him in the studio with like a, a rapper. I was actually surprised when I saw this. I think his name is Lil Bibby. I was actually surprised when I saw that. That's like a very commercial, uh, street-like rapper here in America. And I seen the picture with him in the studio with him. I'm like, oh, okay, this shit's going down. So Sugar is definitely recognized as that's that guy, yo. That's that freaking guy. So I think with his connections, you know what I'm saying, and networks in the industry, there's gonna be at least two really, really big features uh, on this album. And I'm always curious to see who else he's gonna collaborate uh, with because Sugar collaborations go off. If you didn't know, Sugar collaborations go off. And I actually wouldn't be surprised, too surprised, if we even seen a uh, collaboration from one of the BTS members. That's one thing we haven't seen on any of these solos uh, yet, actually. We haven't seen any collaborations with the band members. And if there's anyone capable of doing this, possible of doing this, it's definitely Sugar because he, he just have these, these unique relationships with the rest of the members. Um, he collaborated with JK on Stay Alive. They both made a freaking masterpiece together. Um, he just have this special love for Jimin, you know what I'm saying? Especially when they were younger, you know, Sugar was like, was like playing his role as the elder and just protecting, uh, and guiding, uh, Jim. I would say guiding more likely, definitely guiding and defending when necessary, uh, Jimin. So they got a special relationship. Come on, bro. Sugar and Jimin, stop playing, bro. Freaking the world will go crazy if they saw that. So, and him and RM are practically equals. You know what I'm saying? They just got that same vibe. They're practically like brothers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, very similar, uh, with, uh, with, with J Hope. They always had a very special relationship. In fact, um, back in the days when other members, even RM, was uh, even afraid of Sugar, who did they always get to communicate with him? J-Hope, because J-Hope and him always had that, that camaraderie, that brotherhood, that, you know, Hobie got it. You know what I'm saying? And he understood Hobie, real recognized real. They definitely got along, probably he got along with J-Hope probably more than any of them, to my understanding. Um, or... He could just surprise us and, and, and do a collaboration with either Jin or V because again, man, let's remember that Sugar is a freaking genius. All right. And geniuses are very, very, very intentional with their art. And considering that Jin just been out, you know what I'm saying? Kind of the, the, the picture for a while, obviously, because, you know, he's doing this thing. It's possible that he might just throw that on there. How beautiful would that be for, for armies and, you know, the fans and whatnot. So he's capable of doing that or he might just do a crazy collaboration with V and you'll just be like, oh my God, bro, this is just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because like I say, artists are very deliberate with their art. I'll, tell, I'll even show you. I'll even prove that right now. Y'all have no idea this is even happening, but in the background, you see that? I got my music uh, neon light thing lit because it's just kind of symbolic because I'm talking about music. I got one for music and one that's a flame. You can't even see it because it's not on. The one that I have on is which one? The music one. Very intentional, very deliberate, even though you can't even see it this whole time. I know it's there because this is just how creative people think. You know what I'm saying? I just happen to be one of them. So trust me, man. I, you can mark my words on that. It's very possible he gonna have a collaboration with one of the other, at least two of the other members on here. It'd be dope if it's the same track. But you know, this this guy knows what he's doing, man. 
But ultimately, um, it's a beautiful thing, man. It's, it's, it's kind of a combination between, I'm pretty sure it's going to be deep. Um, it's definitely going to be deep. It's definitely going to hit you up in the fields. He's definitely going to do stuff like far, so far away. Uh, first love. Uh, maybe let me know. It, again, that dark, that signature sugar sound. You're no doubt going to get that. That's why it's a signature sugar sound. Um, and it's freaking time, man. This is his debut solo. Like I said, the other ones was kind of more underground. That was just to feed the armies, to feed the fans, to feed us. You know what I'm saying? But this is his debut. Like, all eyes is on him. People are watching this. He's getting support from the label. So, Sugar is not going light at all. I freaking promise you. I freaking promise you, Sugar. I don't know why I had that down the whole time. I promise you, Sugar is not gonna go light with this at all. So, man, that's the video. I'll just go ahead and wrap it up. I think I pretty much said enough. Folks, the greatest thing that you can freaking do is to help support this to help this grow because this is i'm not saying this selfishly the more this grow the more we grow the more this energy grows the more eyes get to watch this the more eyes get to hear this and experience this and the better the uh production and the videos can get because i'll have more time to put into it because now you know i'm I, I still got a life i still got things to do outside of this but the more it grows the more i can put into this and the more better it's just the better it's going to get so the best thing that you can do is like something if you like it or more definitely share something if it really touched you you know what I'm saying? And you really want people to hear this and experience this, just share it with somebody. That is quite literally the most powerful thing that you can do. And one of the best things that I could do for you is boom, put that right on the screen right there. That is literally a code to get $15 off your service for if you go with Mint Mobile, they're a great company. I'm not just saying this is saying that switching to Mint Mobile was one of the greatest decisions I've ever did. This is not sponsored. I'm just being so genuine putting that out there. And also, Rakuten, I'm not sure how to say that. Literally, if you sign up with that code, they give you a discount for your shopping. If you sign up with that code, they literally are going to give you $30. They did it for me, a real literal $30. That's why it says literal $30. I'm just trying to help y'all, man. It's into euphoria. You know what it is, man. Drop a like if you like it. Uh, drop a comment, tell me what you think. I read my comments, every last one of them, and I eventually respond to them. It's D-Day, man. It's time. Stop playing.